Hello. So in this problem, we have a differential equation and we need to determine the solution to this differential equation by using the method of variable separation. So let us begin. We will rewrite this differential equation as e raised to the power of x times square root of 1 minus y squared dx equals to negative y over x times dy. Now here, what we have to do is we have to make sure that the coefficient of the differential dx is purely a function of x and the coefficient of the differential dy is purely a function of y. So what we will do, we will multiply both sides by x. Now that is going to take care of the x that's present on the right hand side. So we have x times e raised to the power of x times 1 minus y squared times dx is equals to negative y dy. Now we need to take care of the square root of 1 minus y squared on the left hand side. So we will divide both sides by square root of 1 minus y squared. So that should give us x e raised to the power of x dx is equals to negative y divided by square root of 1 minus y squared whole multiplied to dy. And clearly this is in the separable form. So now that we have our differential in the separable form, we need to integrate both sides. Let's consider the first integral, the integral on the left hand side. So we have x times e raised to the power of x dx. So we treat x as the first function and e raised to the power of x as the second function. And we're going to use the tabular method. So let's consider the first function x and the second function e raised to the power of x. Write it in the same row. Then we're going to differentiate the first function, which is 1, and then integrate the second function. That's the function itself, since it is an exponential function. Again, we are going to differentiate the second row. So the second row, first column item, which is 1, so that will be 0. And then we have e raised to the power of x. Again, let's differentiate, uh, let's integrate it. That should give us the same function. Since we have obtained a 0 here, we're going to stop. We're not going to calculate further. Now we're going to do a cross multiplication here. So that means the integration of x e raised to the power of x will be x times e raised to the power of x minus 1 times e raised to the power of x. And we stop here. So this is the value of the integral on the left hand side. So let's write it down. x e raised to the power of x minus e raised to the power of x equals to negative. And on the right hand side, we have y divided by square root of 1 minus y squared dy. So here we are going to multiply by 2 and divide by 2. The whole reason for doing this is so that we can make a substitution here. Suppose we make the substitution. Let 1 minus y squared is equals to some variable t and differentiate both sides. That gives us negative 2y dy is equals to dt or simply 2y dy is equals to negative dt. So our integral now becomes half times, so the negative can go inside. So we have negative 2y dy, so that's simply dt divided by square root of 1 minus y squared will be t. So when we integrate it, that's simply t raised to the power of negative half dt, which is equals to half t raised to the power of negative half plus one is half. And downstairs we have half uh, negative half plus one, which is also negative half. So this cancels out. So we are le left with t raised to the power of half. So we get, let's write everything down. So we have x e raised to the power of x minus e raised to the power of x on the right hand side and that's equals to equals to t raised to the power of half plus the constant of integration c let's replace t with our assumed value which is 1 minus y squared so we finally get x e raised to the power of x minus e raised to the power of x is equals to square root of 1 minus y squared plus the constant of integration c and this is the required solution to the given differential equation.